or is it is it Nontren Alb? Do you guys own this vineyard? No, no, this is our neighbor's vineyard. Wow, that's beautiful. Are the grapes starting to form up now, or what? Yes, there's. You can um, see them. Yeah. If you look closely, there's very yeah. small bunches, yeah. very tiny grapes. Oh, hey, we gotta we gotta do a little video here. Do you mind helping me out? Hey, welcome back to Sunday Serving Channel, where you come every week to find hope and truth from the gospel. And what a treat today to be here in Austria, in the village of Retz, in the vine fertile of Austria. You can see the vineyards around, the old abbey, and uh, the grapes are just starting to form on the vines. And here are my two uh, nephews, Nicholas and, and Joshua. They live here in Austria, and they've been giving me a tour of the countryside here. It's really beautiful. So, uh, so guys, um, thanks for helping me out. And you're Kaya, right? Yeah, yeah. Your dog Kaya. You know, it's, it's Father's Day today, and uh, their dad is my brother-in-law, Andrew, married to my sister Priscilla. What, can you think of any Bible passage that's appropriate for Father's Day that we could share about? Well, you know, there's that one about spare the rod, spoil the char child, but I don't really like that one. You don't like that one? <laughs> no. Okay, I don't blame you. <laughs> How about you, Joshua? Can you think of any Bible passage? Yeah, there's um, the fifth commandment, honor, honor father and mother. Very important. That, yeah, that one's very important. Very important. Actually. Honor father and mother. There's a second part to that. Do you know that? No, I don't know. So that it will go well with you. So there's the promise with it. Very important. You know, I was, I was wondering, I was thinking about a, a passage for today to fit our bucolic surroundings here in, in the vine field with all the vineyards and the farms the birds singing, and, and I had to think of that, that uh, parable that Jesus used talking about wine, and you can't put new wine into old wineskins, and I know this is wine country, right? All your neighbors, do you make wine? Does your father make wine? No. No, but everybody makes wine around here, wonderful wine, and um, so I think that would be an appropriate passage for today, and we can find this in, in Luke, in Mark, and Matthew, and it's actually, Jesus is talking about, um, people were asking, why don't your disciples fast? And he told them, well, because you don't fast when you have uh, the bridegroom with you, you know, you, you live. And that's, he said that that's why they don't fast. But then he told this parable about the wineskins. He said that no one pours new wine into old wineskins. This is from Luke chapter 5. No one pours new wine into old wineskins, otherwise the new wine will burst the skins. The wine will run out and the wineskins will be ruined. No, new wine must be poured into new wineskins. And no one, after drinking old wine, wants the new, for they say the old is better. So let's think about that a little bit. I mean, so how does that relate to both, you know, the, the wine country here and the grapes and Father's Day? I think it's, it's actually very fitting because it's, it's every generation's job to pass on wisdom, learning, and, and the most important wisdom is to obey God and His commandments, to follow the Spirit. And, and that Spirit is kind of like the wine, right? So every father's job is to pass on that wisdom of what's important to their children. But yet you, the sons and the daughters, are new and you can't fit into the old. You have to forge your new way. You need your new wineskins. But the spirit of the wine is the same. So every, every crop, every harvest, there's new wine made. It has to be put into new wineskins. In those days, they used leather wineskins. And I guess if you used them for more than one season, they would get rotten and old and they would burst, right? So they needed new, fresh skins. That's like your lives, okay? The next generation's lives, it's something new. You have to form it. You have to make your own way but the teachings and the spirit is the same. And, and the best wine is the old and the age wine. So the spirit that's been around, the truth never changes. Truth doesn't change. But we each generation have to find our own wineskins, our own new ways of doing it. So I think that's a wonderful passage for today in this beautiful countryside. And happy Father's Day to everybody. And I hope you say happy Father's Day to your dad. And, and oh, yeah. hopefully he'll, well, how's that? We hope that he like uh, puts a rod on the shelf but doesn't spoil the child. So God bless you all. Have a wonderful day. Say, so, hey guys, how about a race? I can't keep up to them. <laughs>